Voila! The Corridor. This has been in several movies, including Deadbeat and Doctor What. Really? Help me, Doctor! So much for girl power. And uh, the spike came in out the sea, or Keys, as it's now known. Oh, and on to turn it. Outside there, this corridor. I'll show you the kitchen. Cook over there and made some real cold umbrella stuff there and vegetarian food for uh, film the cameraman. We filmed in here before it got done out with wallpaper and all that. Then we filmed it all over again, right? a different scene in the same room with the wallpaper on for deadbeat. And a fridge that tall, microwave on top. I've left uh, <coughs> an iron there mm. because I couldn't get it to work and I didn't know how to use it so I thought, well, I got it given, it didn't work and I still don't know how to use it. So, and this is my yellow kitchen. I had the choice of white, yellow or blue. Well, if you can guess, I chose yellow. And this, a magnificent example of whiteness, is my bedroom. Now, people say, well, why did you paint it white? Well, it meant to be in an hospital in the 1950s and I thought I'd paint it all white to make it look a bit more medical. It was never used in the film because one of the actresses uh, decided that uh, doing other things was better than actually being in the film and she let us go badly for that and she couldn't get the day off, couldn't do anything about it, didn't want to do anything about it. That film never got made. It'll get made one day. It's a script. It will get made. But uh, that's why it's all right. And an echoing now. You had at least the bed and uh, cabinet in Love and Loss. Just about here, there's some flowers. And um, it comes up. Why don't you wear the jacket? The one I got you for your birthday. The sleeves wore out. You never hold me anymore. <sighs> this flat is more of a set. Tenants handbook. In communities, that's the word. I knew I remember it. Well, that's their handbook, but it's before they were in communities. It's when they were called Bok Trum Bullock. <laughs> Perfect trip, Bok Trum Bullock. Into the computer room now.
And this is the computer room. It's actually bigger than the bedroom, but I had so much junk in here, which has now moved to my new flat, by the way. Don't know why I've done that. So I had so much junk in here that uh, it was, it felt very small, but it is bigger than the last bedroom. One of my girlfriends that was in here, and she says to me, Joe, why do you have wallpaper that looks like your dressing gown? Now, I don't know, can't answer that. But uh, this wallpaper was in when I moved here. Bunk bed. No longer need it. That can stay. That's about it really. I have to say that this, when we did move in here, we had some consideration about it going to be the nursery or the kids' room. But I never had kids, so there you go. The kids are going to be quite happy playing around in here. But if you see the state on the flats, the area, it's not good to bring kids up, not at all. There were at least 6,000 miners, perhaps many more. They stretched back as fastmen in full riot gear, with another 500 waiting close by. There was an atmosphere of real tension, with neither side knowing what the other would do. The small corridor in the L-shaped corridor. Door entry system, brilliant. Pick it up. It has a little man there with security on it, saying, "Hello, security." And is there a little man at the other end? No. We pay ten pound ninety a week for that, for nothing. Uh, uh. Yes. Like yourselves in. In dead pain. Now I come in and do a, do a cameo of myself, right? And when that door opened, not that you can tell here, but it was kind of twilighty outside there. Mm. And I'm stood there on a stool, looking out, and I look huge and massive, like I'm a foot taller. And Keith walks in. Right, it's a great shot, but it looks straight at the camera like that. Alright, come in. The Burke. He gets murdered in the living room. Ugh. And as he gets murdered in the living room, Keith walks out and turns to the camera and says, Never mind, more meat for me. Almost a reconstruction of the uh, frenzy, not frenzy. I got it. Psycho. Psycho. I say. Well, we had plenty of blood, but no knives, and nobody screaming really. Uh, but uh, we did a fair, you know, gruesome-looking scene. <sighs> Just doesn't look right. It's fine. Don't work. It's got roses on it, like in coffins and graveyards and stuff. Doesn't work. <laughs> okay, cop. Cool. It's warm though. Yeah. That's oh, yeah. It's, yeah, it's my mother's. Where's my duvet, you saddle? Uh, she probably wants it back, actually. Uh, this was my old green screen. You can see where the curtain's been. It's left marks, tied marks on the wall. I don't know if you can pick that up. I can actually.
basically that when you're all blacked out and we had like lots of green screen stuff doing that up in here. And there's nothing like that I can do with my new flat, so uh, I've given my green screen down to the movie makers. And uh, one day when I make it as a you know, real writer, it'll be on studio, maybe on green screen. <coughs> the dust, it just gets bad in you. This, this was my living room, by the way. Beautiful big living room. 12 by 16. It's hard to actually see on the camera how big it is. It's the 4th of uh, August 2013 and it's the last day in my flat. I moved here uh, about October 1996. I've been about uh, 18 years here. It's been a good flat. Uh, when I moved in, we stripped off this wallpaper here. Uh, and this is as far as we got. And I just noticed how it looked a bit like a... when we stripped it, so it might be... the pattern followed it around a bit. So I've got a bit of charcoal. And grew it on. And it's been there for about... Uh, well over... 17 years, easily. And this is the last day, so I've got to leave my flat nice and tidy, so I'll say goodbye to the lady, if that's all right. Shall I start at the bottom bit? Always gentlemen. And there she goes. Who knows, a new flat, I may have another one. In 2013, the Tory government created the bedroom tax. Single people in social housing could no longer live in two bedroom flats, no matter that nobody else wanted to live in them. After 18 years, I had to move out. This was my home, my memories, my hopes and sometimes film set. <laughs>